What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman. The main point of contention at the end of Avengers Endgame seems to be what happened with Captain America. Now, spoiler warning if you haven't seen the movie, which obviously begs the question as to why you're clicking on a video that says Captain America's ending explained. Either way, we're going to break down what happened with Captain America, why it absolutely does make sense, doesn't break any rules, and shouldn't leave you with a bad taste in your mouth or thinking that they made a logical fallacy. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we're giving away a PlayStation 4 Pro as well as a whole slew of other Marvel related prizes including tickets to go see Avengers Endgame and IMAX while it's still in theaters. All you have to do, hit the subscribe button, then leave a like and a comment on this video, hit the notification bell, and if you want, stick around to the end of the video. I'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. So as I said, the main point of contention, I've seen it in the comments here on my channel, a lot of my DMs asking, what the heck happened with Captain America at the end of Avengers Endgame? This doesn't make any sense, he should have been on an alternate timeline. And if that's your line of thinking, then for the most part, you'd be correct using the rules of time travel that the Russo set up during this movie, it would make sense that he'd be on an alternate timeline in which he lived his life out with Peggy Carter and wouldn't be able to show up at the end of this timeline, our main 616 continuity that now has a five year gap between the vanished and the unvanished. But guys, let me ask you a different question. You were able to watch a movie in which Spider-Man rode the back of a Pegasus with Valkyrie wearing the Iron Spider carrying a Stark Tech Infinity Gauntlet full of all of the Infinity Stones and easily believe that that's something that could happen but now have a hard time working out how Captain America could have grabbed enough pin particles back when they went to the base during the movie in the 1970s or when he was returning all of the Infinity Stones he knew exactly where to go to get more. Hop over to the timeline or stay on that same timeline and live out his life with Peggy Carter in peace, allowing the Captain America from that deviant timeline to be pulled out of the ice, let the events play out similar to the same way that they did, knowing that everything was going to be okay, and after the love of his life, Peggy Carter has passed away, used those pin particles and the technology he already has to jump back to this timeline and meet up with them at the same day and time in which they did this in the first place, as he would know all of this and would have retained the stark time space GPS bracelet that would have allowed him to sink right to Professor Hulk's return signal. Remember, Hulk said he takes as long as he needs for us 10 seconds. Hulk initiates the return signal. He's done living out his life, still has the bracelet, and initiates the return to this timeline. Of course, you might ask, well, then why wasn't he on the platform? And then this brings up the most important part of the ending, what the Rousseaus were trying to say, what Marvel Studios was trying to say, what I was trying to say with the Iron Spider Valkyrie comparison, and what you should carry with you now as we embark on phase four, the Marvel Cosmic Universe and the multiverse. Things don't have to be perfect. They have to be awesome. Marvel Comics never worked on it being perfect. They worked on it being awesome. They worked on it being for the fans. They worked on it being stories we would all see ourselves in. And in that, the Russos did exactly that with Avengers Endgame. Now I went ahead and worked out a nice, logical story there and spun it out for you guys so if you really need it you can hold on to it and say hey this is the way it could have gone down but that's not important it doesn't matter if there's a nice logical fit there are going to be a lot of things going forward that don't make sense there's now a five-year gap with half the people who exist on earth side note is this going to be the introductions of the m word into the mcu but regardless it doesn't matter Following comic books is something that has been the love of my life, and for a lot of you guys who missed the actual comic book era, but now have the Marvel Cinematic Universe, your journey is no less epic and no less awesome. I've seen it said and agree that the fact that the realism in these movies is to the level and extent which it is, is what really drives them home with the fans, and I would agree. But these are fantastic stories at their heart, stories about people, stories about ourselves, and as a love letter to the fans, to quote my friend Sean, the Russos ended Avengers Endgame with what made the most sense, getting Captain America what he needed and wanted the most in life as he had earned it, taking the charge against Thanos, and then allowing him to return to our timeline to pass on the shield and the mantle of Captain America to Falcon. Now three other quick details about that scene you might have missed. Bucky definitely tells Captain America, I'm going to miss you, only seconds after Professor Hulk tells him it's all going to take 10 seconds. Bucky knows that Captain America is going to stay in the past, why else would he have said that? It's also Bucky who makes a subtle nod when Captain America passes on the shield and the mantle of Captain America to Falcon, as Bucky was to become Captain America first in the comics, but of course we all know he's an international war criminal who's assassinated a ton of people, there's no way he could be Captain America 
Like I said, these are steeped in realism. And of course, Falcon now becoming Captain America is just like it happened in the comics. We also have Old Man Cap on our timeline. Quick side note, that is a thing that happens in the comics. He does have the super serum wear off and ages super quickly. However, this is a different version, I think. He's just very old. Remember, he's lived about almost 200 years at this point, two full lifetimes. The super serum doesn't make him immortal. It just makes him super strong and age slowly. So I think this is Old Man Cap. He still has a serum and is just very old. But either way, and as is the point with this video, the story made sense. It was the right thing to do. And if you really need to always work out all the logical details for you, then you might find you're missing out on the best part of the stories and focusing on something that wasn't ever meant to be focused on. But let me know in the comments if you disagree. Do you always need it to make 100% logical sense? Or do you agree with me? The stories come first and that's why they're so awesome. And quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. All right, we're giving away a PlayStation 4 Pro at the 400,000 subscriber mark. We're also giving away tickets to go see Avengers Endgame in IMAX while it's still in theaters. We'll also be announcing a ton of Marvel prizes every month throughout the year. All you have to do to be entered to win any of it, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, then leave a like and a comment on this video. And the more videos that you like and comment on, the better chance you have of winning. My name's Michael Roman. This is everything always. Thanks for checking out the channel, guys, and stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.